Oh my god, I literally look like a crackhead. Ah, sick, huh? What's up everybody? Welcome back you guys. If you couldn't tell from the title of this video and that new little intro screen, we're going to Europe. Not just Eamon and I, but Trinity as well. We are shipping our van to Liverpool in the UK on June 17th. Now cool. we've never really seen anyone else document this process. We've met a few people that have gone from Europe to America. And so it's all new to us. We're all still figuring everything out. As you can imagine, there are so many little things that need to be in place before we ship our van to Europe. In case we fooled you <laughs> in the van tour, thinking our van is 100%, that's not the case. We've been doing a lot of little things. The propane wasn't working. We didn't have water hooked up. We actually <laughs> added a leaf into the back of the van. So we bring you along for our past week of alterations and preparations. Let's get started. Service. That's all I needed. <laughs> See ya. So our big problem with oh. the propane was having the fridge a little bit higher. We had to go elbow off of there. Now this is a temporary solution because apparently in Europe, it's all different fittings. And we can't obviously ship our propane Yeah. across. So we're gonna have to redo that. All right, tick, tick, tick. A big problem with these Sprinter vans when you convert them is the suspension. So because you're adding all that extra weight into the back of the van, when you're driving it, it's very tippy because the suspension's too soft for the amount of weight. And when we were actually in San Diego, I kept hearing about this company called Agile Off-Road, Agile Off-Road. And I was really excited to go there and investigate how much it would be to do a suspension kit. Long story long, it was like $6,000 to upgrade your suspension with their like fancy custom RIP kit, which is insane for suspension. So anyway, I've been doing more and more research about what that means and called a local shop here and they say they do stuff for sprinters all the time. And just by adding a little leaf at the back, an extra leaf, you really firm up the back and tightens up the back end. And that's what we've done. So it's $600. I'll show you what it looks like. We just spent $600? Back it right in so they can see it on the level. Oh yeah, it's, it's more for for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So and then just so you guys see, it's it's another leaf that's been added underneath the original leaf. So you can see it. It's lifted right there. And once we get even more weight, that will come down a bit more. Just a little bit. Alrighty, so Eamon is going to drive the van back to the office. We should get a comprehensive review on the new leaf. Apparently it's called a leaf, y'all. I'm gonna head back to the office. We have a meeting with our business mentor around lunchtime. That's booking. Is it kind of different seeing me in a car? It feels like I'm in like a little go-kart or something. It's pretty fun. So we just drove back to the office. I already told him. Oh. Perfect. Well, just to let you know. Yes. It's very sick. Is it? It definitely feels more stiff. Do you think you're just like placeboing it? No, 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 no. Because I'm I was like hyper aware of it when I drove it there. Yeah. You know, I wanted to test things yeah. like this, getting in to this curve oh, here. Totally. It always shakes That makes it a off. huge difference. And the van goes like this, boom, 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 boom. Even once you start settling out, it's still going. And just when I pulled in pretty hard, I wanted to test it. Yeah. It's just firm. It's just like boom, boom. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. We just finished up lunch with Greg. We're at Yorkdale Shopping Center. And we just had this really great scene of us saying goodbye. And he said a funny line about Beck being his girlfriend. And I thought I was recording it because I'm uh, recording on my phone because all our batteries are dead. So this vlog sucks. It's totally my fault. 
Uh, we're going to Rogers now to see if I'm I can fix my phone screen. Spots, I didn't know we going to the office. Okay, I'll just be quick. What are you lacing up for, Beck? Lacing up for a little photo shoot. This whole outfit is a part of my limited edition clothing collection with my friend Joe from Cedar and Vine. So it's all sustainable, ethically made here in Toronto, Canada. It's all made from linen and I'm really, really excited about it. It'll be launched on Friday, so by the time you guys see this. are bothering me again. Can you tell? I can't vlog. <laughs> Today's priorities are as follows. Cleaning up our office so that it is in tip-top shape to leave. We also need to follow up with our AC compressor. Well, I did find a healthy one sitting on the engine. Okay. We have not had air conditioning for, I don't know, maybe even a year now, and it's not so bad right now here in Canada, but remember in Baja when we were sweating our... Butts off. Butts off? I was gonna say tits, but that's so not what, something I would say. <laughs> and we also need to follow up with cozy campers. Maybe... If maybe they're gonna give us a camper bed. And maybe go to a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> Take care of yourself, baby. Exactly, and amazing at the moment. Okay. I can... That'd be awesome. My name's Eamon, E A M O N. Sounds like we might have a Let's camper. give a little shout out to our friends Craig and Amy. Oh, huge uh, shout out! Great YouTube channel called King of It. Roll Your Own World. And uh, <laughs> they actually went to Iceland and they got us in touch with someone. Mr. B, apparently. He sounds like a legend. He does sound like a legend. It might be interesting to you guys to see how we like pitch ourselves and work with different companies. And what we found the most effective is to just get on the phone. Eamon is great on the phone in scenarios like this. I think I get like a little bit of anxiety trying to pitch myself on the phone, but I think it's super important to just get on the phone, folks. Hi there, this is Eamon. Uh, I'm looking to speak to someone in management. Hello, good morning. Another day here at the office. I actually woke up this morning in a lot of pain, so I got up and figured I would go see the doctor. My eyes are obviously not getting any better. Uh, after about 10 minutes looking for my health card, I decided, well, enough of that. So I'm not going to the doctor. And um, maybe that's a bad decision, but I can't find my health card. <laughs> Anyway, I'm up a little bit early because I just feel like I gotta start taking things off. Time is dwindling. I'm gonna get on the phone with Cozy Camper again, see if we can sign that deal, as well as I gotta call some insurance providers. So, I mean, for, for van insurance, you know, when we're in Europe. Yeah. Any doctors watching? Dermatory, dermatory, dermatardis? Do I get to dermatory dermatitis? <laughs> it's all about following up. Okay, do you want me to call in back in a couple minutes? Okay, thank, thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. The next guy I'm gonna call is insurance. So we need to get insurance for Europe uh, for the vehicle in order to pick up, obviously we're gonna get insurance anyway, but you can't pick up the van unless you have proof of insurance. These guys are in the Netherlands. Hi, my, my name's Eamon, I'm calling from Canada. Yeah, hi. Iceland. Hello, Eamon speaking. Hello, 
Hey, Mr. B, how you doing? I'm good, man. Is that does everyone call you Mr. B, or is that just Craig? Hey, no, I think it's more like Craig and Amy. <laughs> uh, well, what size is it? Okay, great. Okay, man. Um, I'm gonna book it today. Okay. Thanks, Mr. B. Cheers, man. Bye, bye. Yeah! We're going to Iceland! Beck's not even awake yet. She's gonna be fired up! Buddy, I got some very exciting news. We're going to Iceland! Yeah! Sick, huh? You, 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 you! Oh my god, that's so awesome! I know, right? So good. Mr. B. Oh, that's so awesome. I was definitely in a REM cycle there because <laughs> I'm still coming out of it. Yes, that's awesome. Let's book our flights. I know. Yes. Alexa, stop. Hey Siri, call Russell, Sprinter King. What a way to wake up this morning, babe. I'm glad you caught that and it's raw and realness there. <laughs> so now that we have that at least locked in, uh, we have a few little items that we need to sort out. Like, how little is a flight? I don't <laughs> Our van is arriving in the UK and we have no flight to get there. It's already June 6th. And we need to figure out when we actually drop the van off, how that logistically works. Do we need to book a place in Halifax? When do we fly? Once we Where do we fly? Get to Halifax, yeah. So the most ideal flight situation is obviously to fly from Halifax with a layover in Iceland and then continue on to Liverpool. Icelandic Air actually has a layover option, but it's only for seven days. Because we're flying out of Halifax, which isn't Canada's biggest airport. Typically, we're from Toronto, we would fly out of YYZ. I think because Halifax is just not that big, it goes way up in price. When I put Halifax to Heathrow in, it's $1,267 per person. When I put Toronto to Heathrow with the layover in Halifax, it's only $800. Yeah! And then I was looking at flights from Halifax to Toronto on its own and separate, which we could probably even fly on points. This is going to be so fun. Are Much they excited more cost to come along with us? I don't know. I think they're excited for my eyes to get better. Me too. Hey guys, have you noticed the shirt I'm wearing today? Just a little plug. That's part of her collection. That's Christian, right? Uh, the van should be shipping on June 20th. Did you, did you know that Iceland was an island? <laughs> I did, actually. Did, did you just learn that this morning? And did you know there's only three di three hours of uh, darkness in Iceland right now? I did, actually, yeah. No, but seriously, you got any plans for the summer? Uh, just... Uh, Hope to sell a lot of chai and deliver chai all over Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> you think they have, they drink chai in Iceland? Definitely, man. Right. It's cold there. That'd be cool. It's cold. There. I'll bring a couple kilos. <laughs> Even in the summer? Yeah, it's cold. I think. Wow. It's June right now, and like I think you need a jacket at all it's times. It's cold in Canada in June. Is it still June in Iceland? <laughs> <laughs> How'd it go? How'd it go? It went better than uh, I could even dream of. Shout really? out! Shout out to Versa Fittings. Versa Fittings, not Versa Fittings. Oh. Fairview Fittings. <laughs> they are the best. And uh, shout out to Stephen H at uh, Versa Fittings. <laughs> if you guys don't know what we're talking about, we had some issues. Oh my God! I literally look like a crackhead. Dude, are they getting worse? Yeah. Go get some Benadryl. Ah! Okay. You want to have a look here? I don't see any bubbles. That's a good sign, eh? I have to say that's a good installation job, Bob. <laughs> you're gonna kick this hose, eh? No, 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 the hose is good, look. Okay. Kick it, it's gone, man. And you're gonna have an explosion. <laughs> I'm not gonna have an explosion. Well, with a kink hose, you will, son. You might wanna focus on the vlog. What do you guys think? I mean, I've tried to tell them, but... I'm actually gonna run a second line off of the water pump and gonna shoot that out to the back. So we have enough water now that we can do um, 
you know, light sprit, rinse off if our feet are dirty or washing our hiking boots or rinsing our wetsuits and stuff like that. I think that's gonna be very key. Make sure when you're working with metal threads, you definitely wanna tape them. That's really neat, good thinking. I give Eamon a lot of credit for his creativity and ingenuity, but yet every day he still surprises me with it, so. Buddy, Thanks that's for such a sweet thing to say. It's true, buddy. Thank you for making this van the most beautiful dream home I could imagine. Welcome. Love ya. <laughs> Love you and your crazy eyes. Another thing we really have to get on top of before we leave is laundry. We are lucky enough to live close to, well, I guess we can live anywhere in the van, but. We stay close enough to Eamon's mom's house that it's just a quick drive away. So this evening, I'm on laundry duty. Here's what we're looking at, folks. Quite the hefty load. Whew. Let's get started. It is 1.10 a.m. and my collection with Joe just went live. We're so excited, it's really late, but we've been sharing a little bit about it and we've actually had our first sale. So thank you so much for supporting us in this and supporting small business and choosing to put your dollar into sustainability and slow fashion and things that will last you a lifetime. I am so tired, but I'm clearly so excited. I just can't wait. I can't wait for you guys to get into these pieces because you'll you'll love them. You'll just love them. Anyways, I really need to get some sleep. We'll catch you guys in the morning. There are two things we're trying to accomplish this morning. The first one is we're going to leave our van with Russell. Hopefully the new compressor is going to be all we need to fix our AC. Fingers crossed. And on our way up to hang out with some family for the weekend, we are about to visit with someone very, special very friend. special. Very special. Like friend. so special. You guys are gonna freak out. Holy smokes, Russ. You got enough sprinters here? You have arrived. Hi, beautiful. Hi, baby. Oh. Time to get some AC in there, huh? Let's do it. I had mine cranking in the car and I was thinking, woo! How you doing, man? Good, bro. Hi. Welcome back to Canada. I'm sure some of you guys remember Garcia from our Hello Mexico series. When our engine died, he was very helpful. Um, holy smokes, he's got a lot of parts here today. Okay, Russ is not here today, obviously, but we're gonna leave the van. He promised me he's gonna keep it locked. And hopefully when we come back, we got cold air blowing on our face. So I realize I'll, throughout this video, we haven't even shared with you guys a lot of the details and actually shipping. shipping the van. Yeah. So we're super excited to be working with Seabridge. Uh, and this is a company that we found through our research. And they actually specialize in RVs shipping all over the world. So they've made it so easy. Um, this whole process, you just kind of deal with this company and they work with the actual freight forwarder. To be clear, our research was actually meeting people in Mexico who had shipped their van. Yeah, so we met two different people who came from Europe to Canada. Totally. Anytime we're about to take a big step or a big trip decision, we feel like the universe gives us people to kind of guide us so that we don't have to do a bunch of research because that's just not how we roll. You just manifest it. Yeah, so we met two fam, uh, a couple and a family who shipped from Germany to Halifax and then drove across and down all the way, hopefully down to Argentina, I think is their goal. But they highly recommended Seabridge, so we got in touch and that's who we're going to be shipping with. If you can believe it, it only takes six days. And I'm sure you guys are wondering, okay guys, how much is it gonna cost? Because we have the accessories, i.e. the back bumper, and we've added extra height onto the roof, we are paying a little bit extra. It's costing around $5,000. Um, and that's everything included. There is like a $150 import fee, but the fact that you have your van in Europe and this is a long-term travel for us, like we're gonna leave the van for at least a year or two, um, to have a house in Europe, I think it's totally worth it. 
I couldn't agree more. It sounds very expensive. It's one of those things that upfront is very shocking to your bank account. But like Eamon said, once you get there, you're not paying for Airbnbs every night. You're not going out to restaurants because you have your own house. And just to reiterate, I'm just kind of saying everything you said, we hope to do this for a year or two years, fly back for our business, fly back to Europe. So basically we have a house in Europe now. Do you want to go vacation at the house in Europe, darling? <laughs> darling, should we go to the UK this weekend? Stoked. Okay, let's go see our, our special friend. Okay. Is this okay? Yeah. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> Hi, Rahul. Oh. Hi, Mister. Hi, Mister Big <laughs> Dog. So big. Hi, Mister Big Boy. Hi there, buddy. Hi there. Do you remember me? Do you remember us now? Hi, guys. Huh? Because we're not in our van. Maybe we got to speak Spanish. Maybe we showered. Do oh, we amigo. Smell amigo. Hola. Como estas? I really miss you. Do you remember this girl? Yes. Do you remember her? Remember when I used to hold you like this before bed and make you sleepy? Oh. <laughs> oh yes. Is that a smile? So funny. We get here and we're talking to Sage and Emma and Amelia. We're like asking him about his poo, his health, all this kind of thing. Obviously, they've had him for a few months now and he's in amazing shape. Um, we're actually going to go for a walk as a squad and Sage made his favorite vegan dip, which we're going to enjoy after. So, so excited to see Rojo. We're gonna go for a little walk and then we're gonna probably have lunch and head out. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Okay, I got some green, some red, and some brown. Here we go. Look at the pillow, baby. Wow. No, I'm seriously impressed. Yeah. Hey, bro. It's really good. Yeah. I didn't think it would have that much flavor because, like, it looks so healthy. It is so healthy. But what is the, like, the dressing it's side calorie. of it? Uh, it's calorie wise Catalina. It's vegan as well. Mmm. And there's only six ingredients, so you got the calorie wise cal Catalina vegan. Yeah, free recipe on the, on the uh, channel. Cherry tomatoes, green onion, green pepper, uh, black beans, and lentils. That's it. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Is it good? Really good. Back in here. Can we all just take a look at our little buddy here? <laughs> oh, little guy. You are passed down, huh, mister? I love you. I love you, buddy. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye guys. Bye. Oh wow, it's hot in here. That's unusual feel. <laughs> oh my goodness. Feels so good to see Ro doing so well. And like we knew he was because we keep up to date with them most most days. But it's just so nice to 
reconnect with him. I think he was nervous when we first got there. He didn't really know and you know, it was, it was Face warmed up now. It was great. I'm gonna cry and I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I just love him and I'm so happy for him. Okay. Yeah, fostering really does feel good, especially when it when you win like that. Yeah. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to smash the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We're going to Europe, you guys. We'll see you Sunday. Oh, also, I'm gonna link my clothing line in the description, first line. It's so launched. Check it's it out. It's officially launched. I, I did a little clip last night because it was one in the morning and Joe and I were texting. Joe was up until 3.30 in the morning watching people putting stuff into their carts and then like checking out or not checking out. So if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask myself or Joe. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. The Raptors versus Golden State for the championship. Tell them, Jersey. Forever man.